Today marks day two of the trial of the man accused of killing a nursing student on UGA's campus earlier this year. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 5. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Courtney Bryant. Authorities found 22 year old Lake and Riley's body in a wooded area in February when she didn't come home from a run. Fox News Kim Luffler has followed this case from the very beginning and joins us now with the latest from court. Kim. Well, testimony just concluded for the day. The state continued to pre present their evidence in court uh, throughout the day, including selfies. They say Jose Ibarra posted to Snapchat just before Lakin Riley was killed. These are the images authorities testified Jose Ibarra posted to Snapchat the morning Lake and Riley was killed, which they say proves he's the man seen here throwing a jacket in the dumpster. Prosecutors say the jacket contained Riley's DNA. It also is him wearing that same t-shirt that he appears to be wearing under the navy blue jacket. A UGA police officer testified the day after Riley's death, Jose's brother Diego Ibarra was seen wearing the Adidas hat with dirt on it. He also noted scratches on Jose, but not on Diego. I was on scene when we located um, Lakin um, the day prior. Um, she did have a lot of dirt, mulch, um, and things like that on her body. Um, and I felt that if um, an individual was wearing that hat and was touching Lakin in that manner, um, dirt could have been transferred to the hat by moving the hat. A Spanish speaking officer said he asked Jose about a red line on his head and he pointed to Diego's hat. He doesn't say um, I wore that hat. He says I wore a hat like that. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's what I heard. Using a translator, one of the Ibarra brothers' roommates testified the brothers would wear each other's clothes. Was it unusual for the brothers to share clothing? Era inusual que los hermanos intercambiaran, se pusieran la ropa. Sí. Sí, inter se intercambiaban ambos, Diego y José Antonio. Yes, they would interchange it. They Despite objections from the defense, the judge allowed the court to hear jail phone calls between Ibarra and his wife, Lei Ling, translated by an FBI agent, where she asked him to tell the truth. She tells him that he has to know something, and he just continues to tell her, like, Lei Ling, enough, Lei Ling, enough. The state is expected to rest their case tomorrow. The defense will then call their witnesses. Prosecutors are seeking a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Live this evening in Athens, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News. All right, Kim, thanks.